What's up everyone, I'm Pokertrainer Nick, and in this video we are going to be opening up a CGC return of comic books, but you know what, if you've been keeping up with the YouTube channel, these are comic books that we've already seen. The deal is that the first time around when we saw them, they were damaged slabs. So these are Pokemon comic books that we received from CGC, they were damaged, I had to send them back, so that way they could be re-slabbed. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox them, we're going to see if those slabs were fixed, the grades probably did not change. I, I really doubt they would change because it's really just a reholder. Uh, but we're going to see if CGC made things correct. Now, before we get too involved into it, I do want to go over some of the timings of these comic books. Uh, so the first time that I sent these comic books in, uh, according to the CGC website, which I'm looking at right now, uh, they were received on January 29th, 2021. And they were shipped back to me on April 2nd, 2021 got an error with those because they were damaged. So I sent them in, uh, and the mechanical error uh, was sent was received on April 13th, 2021. And you know what? They were shipped on July 21st, 2021, and I received them shortly after. Um, so it's been about seven months since I've had these comic books. Uh, so it's been quite some time. Um, so we're going to open them. We're going to see what we get. If you haven't seen that other video where me and Maria opened up those slabs, it's still worth it. We had other comic books in that return that were Pokemon, um, and it was still very exciting to see. Um, so this is the CGC uh, shipment. I opened it up. It, it was a uh, pretty massive box uh, for what I had received. These are three comic books, uh, all of which are Pokemon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and crack them open and, and see where we end up. So let me take the rubber band off. I'm hoping that everything is smooth. And you know what? The grade is actually on both sides of the comic book. So I'm just going to leave it right here. And we're going to see what we got. Uh, so this is Pokemon. And this is Pikachu Shocks Back uh, Volume 3 of 4. So let's go ahead and take it out of the wrap. And we're going to examine it, make sure that everything adds up. Let me scoot this to the side just a little bit. Um, so just giving it a glance over, I'm going to flip it over. There were no shards of plastic inside of the box, which is a good sign. Um, just giving it a feel. And everything looks and feels pretty good. Um, so this is a, a very nice slab. I'm going to move it to the side. We're going to evaluate the other ones as well. Um, so this is another Pikachu Shocks back. Let me take it out of the wrap here. Flip it over. Um, so this is edition or volume one, I should say, of the same comic book series. Um, it's it's very cool um, to, to own. I mean, Pokemon cards are all the rage all the time. But you know what? People forget that there's other things that are Pokemon. They're still very collectible. So these are there's a lot of different Pokemon comics uh, these are licensed official Nintendo, um, where nowadays it would be the Pokemon Company, I think, typically. This is vintage because uh, this is back from 1999, um, so they're they're quite old. Uh, but just looking at this, giving it a feel, everything everything looks uh, and feels pretty good with this one as well. So I think, I think our return did pretty well. We're going to look at the final one, which is the third one. Um, so I'm going to pull it out of the plastic wrap. Um, so this is a different comic. Uh, so this is the Pokemon TV animation comic. So I choose you. Um, so this is uh, it. Pretty much falls in line with the with the classic Pokemon story. Um, the interesting thing about these comic books, and I I don't remember if it was the same with the I choose you, but they're they're in black and white. So they're that kind of has that newspaper kind of texture to them. It's not colored like what you would see in typical Marvel or DC comics. So they're, they're vintage. I don't know if it was the theme or not, but uh, it, it feels old. Um, so just giving this a look over, this is a much thicker comic book. This feels more like a magazine, uh, but they were still able to slab it for me. Um, and you know what? It, it looks good. It looks like um, it was slabbed correctly. I mean, there's some, there's some scuffing on, on the case. Um, but you know what? I'm all right with that. That's not a not a big deal in my opinion because the it's it's perfectly preserved. Um, so I'll switch it over to a different camera so that way you can see what these look like. Um, so this is uh, I choose you. They're they're large. They're they're big comic books. They're not small Pokemon trading cards. Um, so once again, uh, it did take quite a bit of time 
uh, to get these comic books back. Um, I did have to send three of them back in because the slabs were damaged. They're not the only things I've sent back in the past. Uh, CGC Comics, they took care of me. Uh, they had me ship my comic books back uh, with UPS overnight. They paid for it. The weird thing, the, the catch, the got you kind of thing is, uh, well, one, uh, you don't get priority on damaged slabs. You you ship them back, and uh, they take X number of months to come back. You don't, they're, they're not going to overnight them to you uh, when you ship them in. Uh, so that's one. The second thing is, when they sent them back to me after they re-slabbed them after X number of months. They did overnight shipping again. I was unfortunately on vacation at the time. Um, and I didn't know this. This is not a CGC thing. This is a UPS thing, which they chose as the sh uh, shipment courier. Uh, UPS, they charge you in order to redirect your mail. So they wanted to charge me uh, $10 to pick a new delivery date or $6 to have it dropped off at a UPS store. So I didn't know that. I thought that you could do it for free like you can FedEx. Uh, so just something to consider, uh, something to take note of. If you're going on vacation and you get the surprise CGC overnight shipment and you don't want it to sit at your, your doorstep, uh, there could be a fee associated. Um, beyond that, though, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Go ahead and check out that previous video that me and Maria did where we opened up these for the first time. You can see what kind of damage they were and you can see some of the other comics uh, I actually got these comic books on eBay. Um, they were not slabbed on eBay. They were just uh, just the raw format, and I sent them in. But really cool stuff to own. Until next time, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.